did you learn to speak English? Dr. Augustine's school? Little help! You're like a baby. That all about? Did you know the movie was initially planned to be released in 1999? That's right, a full 10 years before the actual movie premiere. The reason was James Cameron's wish to use the best CGI effects there were. That meant the final budget was around $400 million. No studio wanted to invest that much money back then. After that, he wasn't convinced that CGI effects were actually any good at all. His turning point was Gollum in 2002's The Lord of the Rings Two Towers, a significant achievement for that time period. When production finally began, the whole movie took four years to make, from pre-production to release, and the premiere was on the 17th of December 2009. According to James Cameron, he watched Disney's animated film Pocahontas, and the idea of a soldier falling in love with the native daughter of his enemy became the core of the story. Matt Damon's $200 million mistake. Matt Damon is a well-known name in the film industry, but did you know he was actually being considered for the lead role in Avatar? In a 2021 interview at the Cannes Film Festival, the movie star explained how he got offered a deal from James Cameron, making him entitled to 10% of the profits from Avatar if he starred in the movie. That would be around $250 million as of 2021. Damon, however, decided to decline since the shooting schedule of Avatar would be at the same time as the reshoots for the Bourne trilogy, and he was already committed to those movies. In the interview, he also famously said, You'll never meet an actor who turned down more money. Well, in the end, the role went to Sam Worthington, who is now the face of the Avatar franchise. From a car for a home to a multi-millionaire. Sam Worthington, an English-Australian actor, mainly had minor roles in America even though he was a star in his own Australia at the time of his Avatar edition. His most notable performance was as a cyborg in The Terminator Salvation. Worthington even auditioned for the role of James Bond in Casino Royale, but Daniel Craig took the spot. As we already said, he was the actor who ultimately got the role of Jake Sully. But he was also the actor who, you could say, needed it. Not only was it his breakout role, but it was the role that got him out of living in his car. That's right, Worthington was using his car for a home when he got cast in the box office hit. He later said, I put myself there. Nobody else did it. I did it. I wasn't struggling. I had a very successful career in my own country. I was just controlled to leading my life before anyone else could do it. James Cameron's Nail Gun Story Well, we've all heard the famous director has a potent work ethic, but on the Avatar set, he had a rule that most people would find not normal. He allegedly carried a nail gun around with him, and if a phone rang during filming, he would nail the phone above the exit sign. You could argue that this is a made-up story, but Worthington later confirmed it to be true. Even James Cameron admitted to using the nail gun, but claimed he did not use it in an emotionally enraged way. He said, I would do it in a calculated theatrical way. But when the story gets told later, it sounds like somebody who's constantly off at the deep end. That's the beauty of my reputation. I don't have to shout anymore, because the word is out there already. Unobtainium The name of the fictional material the Earth people are mining on Pandora might sound strange and even familiar. And that's because it is. Unobtainium is the name scientists gave to a non-existing element, which is perfect for everything. It describes a material that is exceptionally expensive, defies the laws of physics, and can be used for everything. Unobtainium is also featured in the 2003 movie The Core, where the outer layer of an earth-boring vessel used to go to the Earth's core is made of unobtainium. Human Avatars The movie follows a retired soldier who, through a futuristic process, enters the body of a native of Pandora, but the body actually is artificially built. The avatars used by the people have mixed DNA, so the connection between them and their person can be achieved. 
An example of the mix is the hands. The natives have four fingers on their hands, but the avatars have five, closely resembling their human nature. A trip to the jungle. James Cameron is notorious for putting his actors through the most. That's why before filming started, he took the cast and crew to Hawaii, where they trekked through the jungle in order to get a better feel of what it would be like to live in the jungles of Pandora. And of course, those hikes were only during the daytime. At night, almost everyone stayed at a four-star hotel, a new name for a mountain in China. As cool as they looked, the mountains of Pandora were based on a real place. China's Zhangji National Forest Park has some really stunning views, which ultimately became the inspiration for the movie. The movie's success even inspired the Chinese government to rename one of the columns to Avatar's Hallelujah Mountain, the massive success. It's no secret to anyone that the movie was an absolutely massive hit, but people don't realize how groundbreaking it really was. Avatar is the first movie shot with a 3D camera and released in 3D to be nominated for the Best Picture Academy Award. For its time, this was something no one thought could be possible. Avatar is also the first movie to be shot entirely on digital and win an Oscar. And of course, everyone knows it's the highest grossing movie of all time. Its title was briefly stripped when Avengers Endgame was released in 2019, but since then, Avatar was re-released to promote its sequel and has again taken the first spot, the Navi's religious meaning. The whole movie has some form of religious meaning. For example, the term Avatar is derived from Sanskrit and refers to divine entities who assume human form to bring about equilibrium through virtuous acts. In a tribute to Vishnu, the Hindu god who maintains the cosmos, Cameron also gave the Navi people a blue hue and made them tall. Similarly, the term prophet in Hebrew is Navi. The Navi in the film worship a god called Ewa, which is Yahweh, one of the Hebrew god's names but transposed. Although he hasn't verified it, Dr. Augustine could be a nod to St. Augustine, Rome's envoy to England who brought Christianity. We could go on all day. Everything about this movie has been thought through. What other fun trivia facts do you know about Avatar? Did we get something wrong? Is there a scene worth mentioning we haven't talked about in this video? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. And if you enjoy this type of content, why not subscribe to our channel? Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again in our next video. I'll be late for my own party. That's my birthday after all. This is Jake Sully signing off.